So hold on tight. But I'm telling you, we are stronger than they are. Well, joining me now to discuss all of this, Republican Congressman of Ohio, Jim Jordan. Congressman Jordan, it's great to have you on the program. So good to be with you. What do you think of my assessment, sir? Well, look, you know, I was one of the 61. Uh, I thought that it made sense to make a change, but we had the vote. I've been calling for the vote for several weeks. Um, the vote didn't go the way I wanted, but I think it's now time to we, we gotta we gotta come together and we gotta focus on the radical things the Democrat Party wants to do to the country, the radical things the Biden administration has done already with executive orders, driving up the cost of energy, destroying jobs, all kinds of things that are going to they're going to look to raise taxes and a whole bunch of things that are going to hurt families and hurt our economy. So I think we got to focus on that. And frankly, right now, what I'm really focused on, Grant, is there's an impeachment trial happening in the United States Senate that uh, we need to do everything we can to make sure President Trump gets acquitted, which I think is going to happen because the Constitution's on his side, the lack of due process argument is on the president's side, and the facts are on his side. So I'm really focused on those things and doing all we can so that we take back the majority and we can stop the Democrats from their radical agenda uh, in just two years. You, you know, and, and I don't mind telling you this, and I, I'm glad you voted as one of the 61. You are one of the good guys there, and we all appreciate that. All these viewers know you. what you're doing for them. So I, I ask you this, Congressman. So many people are frustrated about what can they do now. You know, the election's over. What do you tell people that want to help you and the few others like you in Congress that want to stand up for the voters, the Trump supporters? What are you telling them? How do they help? I think they need to speak out against the number one thing, the number one concern I have in the country right now is the cancel culture and the attack on the First Amendment. That, that to me, is the biggest concern, the biggest threat to freedom we face. So I would encourage every single American to speak out against what big tech is doing to conservatives, what the cancel culture is doing to conservatives. I said this on the House floor three weeks ago, Grant. During the impeachment debate, I said, you guys, you, I spoke to the Democrats, I said, you guys think the cancel culture and this idea that we're going to attack people and cancel people is only going to hit Republicans. I said, it will come for all of us. No one is safe. Everyone should be in fear of what, what's happening, and that's why we should oppose it. And it took all of 13 days for that statement to be proven true, because what happened last week? What happened last week in San Francisco with the San Francisco School Board? They said the Diane Feinstein Elementary School will no longer be named after Senator Feinstein. So here you have a liberal icon served in the Senate for decades from the state of California. Even she's not woke enough for the cancel culture mob, and she gets canceled for something, Grant, she said 37 years ago. This is craziness. So the, the same thing today with Marjorie Taylor Greene. What they're trying to do to her is dead wrong, and we should all oppose it because who's going to be, is it going to be you, Grant? Is it going to be me? Is it going to be some of the people viewing your show? Who's going to be targeted next? We cannot live this way. This is not healthy and is not consistent with what this country is supposed to offer its citizens. Well, you had sent me a, a clip of Matt Gates, your friend, and Jerry Nadler in the House Judiciary Committee, and you want to talk about it. So talk about canceling stuff. How about canceling the Pledge of Allegiance? Um, let me roll this clip and then get you to respond, Congressman. Sure. Here we go. It would be my hope that we could start every committee with a great, unifying, patriotic moment. I yield back. Uh, the gentleman yields back. Uh, I recognize myself to speak in opposition to the amendment. Um, it's unnecessary. The Pledge of Allegiance, Congressman Jordan, unnecessary, that from Democrat Jerry Nadler. First, you had athletes, Grant, who won't stand for the national anthem. Some of those athletes had USA written across the back of their warm-up jacket, representing the United States of America in competition, Team USA, and they won't stand for the national anthem. Then the first day on the job, you have the Biden administration sign an executive order to get rid of the 1776 commission, a commission designed to promote the values and principles that make our country special. And now today, you have Democrats in the Judiciary Committee. The Judiciary Committee, the committee that's supposed to protect people's liberty, supposed to be about justice for all, won't support the Pledge of Allegiance won't stand for the flag. And to me, that it makes no sense. And so I appreciate Matt offering it. We had a, we had a great debate. Burgess Owens was tremendous. We have a, a Victoria Sparks, a freshman who, who came from Ukraine, who understands what it's like to live in places where they don't respect freedom and don't have a flag that people respect like, like we do in this country. Um, it was a great debate, but unfortunately, we lost it. And the Democrats voted down Matt's good amendment. Of course they did. Congressman, let me tell you something. My 11-year-old son could have argued alongside you guys about why you, you need the Pledge of Allegiance good. before yeah. the start of a committee hearing. 
But this is the disconnect that we have in America today. Congressman Jim Jordan, always a pleasure having you on the program. Thank you, sir, you for what you're doing. Thank you, Grant. Take care. Newsmax TV is now America's fastest growing cable news channel. We give you the real news you need. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. If you like this video, share it with your friends. Newsmax TV streams live on YouTube for free. Newsmax TV, real news for real people.